big picture. So in this case, it's the four minutes. Of course, I am analyzing the trend on the bigger time frames too. So coming back weekly, daily, four hourly, three to one hourly, 30 minutes down to 15 minutes down to five minutes, four minutes, three minutes, one minute, and timing is on lowest second chart, right? But I will mention that. Therefore, I have seen also some question here. Some people asking, for example, is it worth to hold the position uh, where it's going to, where it's coming from? No, 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 where it's coming from is my favorite question, but nobody asked me this. This would be a very smart question. Don't mind about it. So the big picture is bearish, of course. I will tell you now first, but we have some fundamentals, Fed speaking at this moment, and they need, of course, um, much more time to tame the inflation, meaning interest rates will go higher. And also in about two weeks, I personally expect that the interest rates will go higher and possibly also in December. So it's good for the US dollar, right? The, Dollar news today, the retail says um, less than expected. It was high, but not high enough for the US dollar. And the fact that the US dollar broke down today and also yesterday was that the shekel, the Israeli currency shekel is breaking, crashing down because of the war. And so the government of Israel is buying massively shekel and selling the dollar. So this is the reason each time the US dollar makes a tick move, the markets make 100, 200 pips, right? Because they are very, very dollar sensitive. So therefore the US dollar is indicator number one, but more to US dollar later. What you need first to know, and also watch more other videos, please watch it. I have explained every detail. I'm not going to repeat it. It's just for today, right? So we have seen that on October 6th, the market went up something around here, right? We had a consolidation, the bulls here gained power coming up, consolidation, bulls tried to push up the market and they were successful some way then and it was on the same time the US dollar was selling and then they started to buy the US dollar because now the mass media the world felt insecure the oil cries running up everybody unsecure Will, for example, Lebanon, Syria, Iran, Russia, United States get involved in US dollar, meaning global war, right? And war is always insecurity, meaning buy, buying dollar, buying gold, buying silver, right? Buying food, commodity, right? Therefore, commodities going up, crude oil going up, gold also going up dollar going up typically normally under normal conditions if gold rises up dollar comes down if dollar going up gold comes down so but not in this case because everybody is looking off for security and most importantly bonds going up and look at the bonds now here look here at this section us 30 bullish us 10 bullish two years here five years one years all bullish right so and if we check now the next fundamental factors that the U us 100 nasdaq s p 500 and rty typically they should run in the same direction they don't they are diverging therefore the market will consolidate right coming back here the bull the bears started to sell now the market the last heaviest support of the bulls were here they broke met the next one the next support 
a bullish reaction. They tried the bulls try to defend their positions coming up, but the bears much more stronger down. The bulls try to gain back their last support. They lost, and they lost also now their current supplies and support line coming to 14,951 to here they were somewhere very successful until the bears told them stop boom the market went down this reaction here you can see here is the news the algos because of the retail sales now the the bulls had a reason right to buy immediately and they did it why because maybe we had here at this level at around 15,188 15,300 somewhere a lot of trapped buyers bulls who started to buy the market now as I told in the chat sell 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 they told each other buy 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 they press go is telling say ignore him but they press to knew what will happen and it happened so they have been now in losses right and then here again they try to cover right and as they are looking now on the fundamentals they see oh then let buy and sell the market on this area we can maybe make our losses a little bit less and start to become sellers, right? Because the fundamentals and most importantly, the US dollar is on the side of whom? Of the bears. Why? Because dollar is rising. What do we know about the US dollar? Dollar rising, bonds rising, indices down. That's fact, right? So there is an economic, global economic fact. You can track the movement all the time, of course, right? So now the strategy shall be, we see here, we have different um, support resistances. We have, for example, at 15,193. The next one is 15,200, something around 50,300. Downwards, we have the POC, 15,152, we are there now. Then 15,076, 14,984 coming down. And this is the last resist resort, you know, the last resistance of the bulls. If it's breaking down, we immediately will get down to below 14,500 to around 14,469. Why? Because first of all, the market um, started to rise very fast. We have a gap here. So the market wants to fill the gap here. But most importantly is what I think that the market will go through that and we will have no bullish reaction anymore here is the fact that as you can see here, we have nearly no value. The volume is nearly zero. You can see that, how thin that is. And the market will poof, crash down to that level and consolidate possibly in this zone, right? And well, some friends I tell, it will go down, but not here in this video, right? Check my other videos. So. Now, how we time the market? We know now the big picture. We have our support resistances. We go on the lower time frame. It can be any. In this case, I take the five second chart. And now, look back here, right? This is the V movement or the upper algo movement. But instead of becoming very high value, and very higher highs tendency and going through this war in this case if it happens then i would say all right the market is breaking a, 
resistant? Is NASDAQ green? No, NASDAQ is red, it should be green. S&P and RTYR, is dollar red? Yes. Are bonds red? No, bonds are green. So on the other side, I look back a little bit here, NVIDIA, nearly 4% zero, Tesla, a little bit now in green side, Microsoft, losing from plus 1.97, now 0 0.17, going to the red territory, Apple still red, Amazon red, Meta getting red soon too, and Netflix, the big players of NASDAQ, right? I mean, we thought these players is NASDAQ nothing, right? These 10 or these five big players, they run the whole NASDAQ, right? And they all are red, but NASDAQ is going down now. On the other side, we ask ourselves, why is S&P then green because of oil, right? Oil going up, a lot of old segment companies are in S&P futures and S&P 500, and also small cap like oil producing or transport companies, gas transport companies, food transport companies that are not benefiting of higher commodity prices. They are driving these two, and the big tech is coming back, right? So. Then we have higher interest rates. We have buying demand of the US dollar. And now ask yourself, crude oil is going high, is going higher and higher. In which currency are you converting crude oil in? Which currency are you transferring? Or is it, is it paid in petrodollar? And petrodollar is US dollar. Right? That means everybody is afraid that crude oil will, might go to 120, 130, 50, maybe higher. I made also an analysis on my trading view ideas. Go there, read that. I have already said that we are going higher. And then they are willing to pay any price for that. What do we do or what do they do? They buy price of the crude oil at 85 it's going higher they buy it's going higher they buy even if it's coming down they buy more and how do they pay that in us dollar they need to convert their own currency in us dollar and that's exactly what in israel war is happening now right Shekel, very expensive in the first days. They started immediately to buy shekel to sell the US dollar. Why? Because the people of Israel have had to pay their living costs, right? Because of coming war. And now they are in the next page. They need oil, they need gas, they need gas line, right? They need a lot of transport costs and they need to convert it in your store, right? So Russia, Ukraine, the same, right? They need to pay that in US dollar. Then we're coming to the weapon market, right? The armory laboring labor market, right? Weapons, right? Tanks, planes, right? Guns from your United States. The United States is not giving the weapons to them to say, okay, that, that's our gift. No, they're selling it, right? In how they pay that, which price in US dollar. So you see here now, and also the commodities are converted and being paid in US dollar, right? So US dollar is rising up, is going down, trend is down. Now, we check here the price, we see here, a lot of people wanted to buy, speculating that, but didn't know these fundamentals, got trapped. You see here, I go back a little bit, 
quickly. So we see exactly what happened here, right? They wanted to buy. The market has the same structure. The moves are very weak about, but look how it's coming down, right? How it's coming down, right? And then also here, the uptrend only for a short time, short period of time. So if you have, if you are in a phase of two, let's say support resistance phase, like here in the middle, you have only chance to buy this one, but put your stops somewhere here or somewhere here, right? Because the risk is not too much. And if the market is coming down, possibly you will have some reactions here. The market is coming up and then your target is not or shall not be one to 1.5, one to one or two person or so on, right? It is something very dumb. Your target should be to speculate that the market will try to reach this one, not to hit it, to reach it. And then after coming here, you wait if the market will try or not try to get through, even if the market goes through. Then you need to wait for the fundamentals. What fundamentals do you have? US dollar, NASDAQ, S&P 500, RTY, and bonds market. You can look on the monitor. That's only a click away, right? Bonds green, everything red, but bonds green, meaning the market will not go higher. It will come down, and that's exactly happening here. Because see, never go in the market if you are in the middle. In the middle, always bad, always. Because then you get in a phase where you don't know if the market is going higher, the market is going higher, but you are, for example, bearish, you want to sell and to buy again, then the market coming down, you buy, but the market, instead of going higher, coming back down, right? So. If you are, for example, buying here, right? If you are a day trader, then I would do that way because why? Because my risk is less, right? But better is you have a certain setup. My setup now since weeks is bearish, right? I take only sell actions only, right? Unless the fundamentals on every time frame is telling me the opposite, I don't accept any bullish moves or tips or recommendations, even if no NASDAQ, let's say from 15,000 something is running higher to 15,500. Unless the US dollar is bearish, I stay bearish. I don't sell. That's fact. I don't change my opinion. I stick with my trading plan. And that's the key of my success. What this is my trading system. I don't know how you decide, all right? So if sometimes in these situations, then take the loss, cut it, stay out, and watch what is happening. Better to take the little loss and see what is happening. In which room are you? Where is your location, right? Better doing it than losing your money. I hope this short video could help you and have a good trading day. And I hope everyone who's watching it and also others have had a profitable and good trading day. Goodbye.